Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I will show you how to create this cool text animation, in the first part of the video, I will explain you how to create the animation in Blender, in the bonus part of the video, I will show you how I edit my animations with Adobe After Effects, let's go arties. Opens Blender and switches to edit mode at the top of the screen. Presses the icon on top to select the faces of the cube. Deletes the faces above and below with the X key and selects faces. Go to the blue tool icon and add modifier and select solidify. At thickness select minus 0.16 meters. Make the cube invisible. Switch to object mode and add text under add. Then switch back to edit mode to be able to change the text. Write a word of your choice. Press the green icon and add a font of your choice under font. I choose Frankert or totally fat. I link you the font in the caption. Under geometry choose extrude 0.09 to make the text thicker. Switch back to object mode and press the right mouse button and select convert to and then mesh. Go back to the blue tool icon and add modifier and select remesh. Under voxel choose a voxel size in which you can see the details of the font well. Don't set the number too low, because your computer could crash. I choose 0.009 meters. Make a copy in case you need to change something later on. Select the text you want to use, go to the arrow and press apply. Make the cube visible again and move the text into the cube. Then press the number 7 on the numeric keypad to change the view. Goes back to the edit mode. Select a point on a letter, press command plus L to select the whole letter to edit it individually. With the G key, you can now move the letter and with the S key, scale it. The letters must not touch each other. Goes into object mode. Now scales both the text and the cube. Presses on the cube and apply also the deformer. Select the text and scale it to the length of the cube. If the text has different heights, Adjust them again in edit mode. Press command plus A and apply the scale. Now we come to the animation. Select the cube and go to physics properties. There you select collision so that the cube serves as a wall. Then click on the text and select cloth. At quality steps you select 8. Under pressure select 9. This value decides how big the text will inflate. Set a check mark at custom volume. Under tragic value you choose 2 and under pressure scale 3. Now we go to the sub item field weights and set the gravity to 0. Under collision we select 8 for quality. Set a check mark at self collision. Under the point cache we choose 8 at end. Cash is there to calculate your animation in advance to see how it looks like. With this function you prevent that the computer is overloaded. Before you use this function, don't forget to save it and press bake under cache. Now the animation is calculated. Depending on how much you have scaled the animation, I have to adjust all values under pressure, this may take a few tries but the text and the animation have to be scaled for the effect, so we can work with bigger numbers, if we would have kept the objects small, we would have to work with decimal numbers, 
Finding the optimal value there is almost impossible, if you are satisfied with the values, we slow down the whole animation. So that we can edit it again, press delete bake. Then we shorten the animation to 90 frames, that is 3 seconds. Move the animation slider to the beginning of the animation. At target value and pressure scale enter the value 0, 0,1 and set a keyframe. Press the button to move the slider to the end of the animation. At target value and pressure scale you enter your old value, that would be 2 and 3. Set a keyframe here too. You can now beacon a part of the animation so we can create the materials. Now we come to the material. First we change the viewport shading in the upper right corner. Then we split the view into two. For this go to the side until A plus appears and drag the window to the side, then you go to the shader editor. Select the text and create a new material under the plus icon. There you set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0, 0,05. Then switch to the world mode. Search for environment texture and insert a picture of your choice. I choose a picture of me. Duplicate environment texture and insert a HDRI environment there. I link you to a website where you can download HDRI for free. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can find the whole project files there. You will find the link in the caption. Then search for Mix RGB. There you choose multiply and connect everything like this. As you can see in the animation, the texture moves too. For this we have to animate the environment texture. For this we have to search for mapping and geometry and connect them like this. Now we set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation, at Rotate and Z, by using the right mouse button. Move the slider to the end of the animation and enter 360 degrees for Z rotation. Now we come to the render settings. First we set the cache to full length. Then we select the camera and choose a suitable section. Under Output Properties choose a suitable format. I want to edit the animation later with Adobe After Effects, therefore I need a transparent background. So that we get the file with a transparent background later, we have to choose PNG under Format. This is the only format that supports a transparent background. If you don't want to edit the animation anymore, you can select a colored plane as background and render it as MP4. After that we go to Render Properties and go to the Submenu Film and check the box Transparent. At the end we make the cube invisible for the renderer by pressing on the icon. The animation is ready to render. Press Command plus F12. That's it, in the next part I'll explain how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Double click to insert the finished PNG sequence into Adobe After Effects. First we adjust the animation to the format. For this we move the animation slider to the end of the animation. With the S key we scale the animation so it fits perfectly into the frame. After that we go to the beginning of the animation and set the scaling back to 100%. Now we move the slider until the first balloons get flat corners on their sides. There we move the keyframe from the end to make the animation look realistic. Then look for the effect hue slash saturation. There you choose under master saturation the value 40. Then duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 10%. Then select the bottom layer and search for the effect Edge Glow. At Edge Detect select 75 and a Glow Radius 10. There we set a check mark at Colorize and choose a color from the logo at Tint Color. Now I work with overlays. 
First I put a star animation, it must cover the whole text. After that I copy the lowest level and put it to the top. After that I change the mode of the star animation to alpha mat. Now I set the blending mode to add. Finally I put a destroy overlay and set the blending mode to lighten. With the key T I reduce the transparency to 50%. After that we set a darker background. For this we click in the layers window with the right mouse button and choose new solid. With the eyedropper we choose a suitable color. Now we make a prefect loop out of the animation. For this we press in the layer window command plus A and then we click with the right mouse button and choose pre-compose. Then we press the right mouse button in the preview window and select composition settings. There we increase the animation duration. Then we duplicate our composition. There we press with the right mouse button on it, go to time and select time reverse layer. The composition now runs backwards and can be moved to the end of the animation. The animation is ready. Well done Arties. Thanks for the positive feedback. When I have 10,000 followers I will get a camera and a mic. At the moment I don't earn any money with this yet. Therefore I am happy about every support. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1 to 2 tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.